Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I'm Ashkan from CFT College and in this tutorial we are uh, going to continue our TechPlot training course. Uh, in this session, uh, I'm going to show you how you can uh, plot multiple charts. So imagine you have multiple data, for example, in different cases or you want to uh you know do grid independence test uh so in these conditions you need to uh plot a profile for example velocity profile temperature profile nozzle number uh on a uh, you know certain line in different cases so uh you learn how to do this in this tutorial before starting the video, please subscribe to the channel if you are new to the channel and uh, hit the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. And if you like uh, these videos and you find them uh, helpful, please share these with your friends. Uh, okay, let's jump to the tech plot. So this is the temperature profile. But uh, as you can see, it's only one uh, set of data. So what if uh, I want, for example, to uh, add some data to this chart? Or uh, maybe I want to you know, plot the data, uh, as, you know, three or four sets of data from the beginning. Uh, I will show you both uh, in this video. First, uh, imagine that you have this data, you have this plot, and you want to add another, uh, for example, temperature profile on second case. Uh, so if uh, I have the data, uh, this is, for example, temperature distribution for case one and this is temperature distribution for case two so first things first i need to uh, create my text file my plt file so i copy these columns to notepad or notepad plus uh, plus you know i recommend uh, you to use this one. It's so much better. Uh, when you uh, add your data in this uh, you know, text file, since it's the second case, you need to write, uh, you need to add two rows. First, you need to mm, specify the variables. So variables equal, uh, let me see what we had here, x and temperature. Okay, x and the unit and the y-axis, which is temperature. Uh, in Kelvin. And then you should specify the zone name. So zone T equals the name of the uh, zone. I mean the, the set of data. The This data is for second case. So uh, Let's, uh, you know, name it the second case. Case two. Uh, let me check the name of the first set of data. Case one T. Okay, so case two T. So these are X and Y axis variables. And this is the name of the uh data the zone name 
Uh, and also it's uh, helpful when you want to add the legend to your plot. Okay, now uh, you should save it or you can uh, you know copy and paste it to copy that. Mm, for example, here new text file. Mm, for example, first or let me multiple charts or you can save it uh, using notepad plus plus it doesn't matter so if i save it now you know how to change it to the pl and now you can add this at this uh, data to your original file so click on load data let me oh okay it's here multiple charts open now you have three options uh, replace data uh, it's not uh, what we want to do because we want to add the data to the to the previous one so it's obvious that we have to pick the third one, but if you want to replace uh, your data uh, to this chart, uh, if you want to, uh, you know, save or, you know, uh, retain the style, you should select the second option. But uh, if you choose the first one, you have to do all the modifications from the beginning. So it's really important. Be careful about it. Uh, since I want to add the data, I should, uh, you know, select the third option. And uh, so here you can see the variables. Uh, available variables are these. So uh, you can select them and uh, click on add selected, or you can click on add all then click on ok but you can't see anything it seems that nothing is added you have to go to mapping style and create a new map so click on create map uh, the name can be for example case 2 temperature x-axis variable x-axis is this one the third one and the y-axis is the fourth one the uh, first and the second the data uh, are already added these are uh, the new data and uh, zone you should uh, specify that it's the second case so it's easy but you have to be careful now if i click on ok you can see two different maps here and uh, the plot is added to the chart okay now we can close it and we can modify the plot uh, i mean the line uh, if you open mapping the style and go to lines tab here you can change the color for example i pick black and i increase the line thickness so to to have a good representation and then i need to uh, add legend so click on this one plot line legend and select this option show line legend now you can see the line legend uh, you can click on it and move it by double click on that uh, you have access to options for example uh, you can change the fonts okay times new roman 
the size. Uh, if you don't uh, want this box, you can select no box. Uh, you can select fill and uh, you then you can change and modify the fill color, for example, yellow or anything that you want. This box color, which is black, is the outline. So if I change it, for example, to red and increase the line thickness, now you can see this is the legend. The outline of the box is red uh, line and the inside is yellow. But uh, most of the time we don't need any outline or box and we use this kind. Uh, and as I said, this is the size and the color of the, of the legend can be modified here. For example, red. Now you can see here we have uh, case 1T and case 2T in red. Uh, it's obvious that you cannot modify uh, the color of this line and this dash line because they are dependent to the color of the and color and type uh, of your lines but i think black is better and that's it you can make it bold italic and so on so if i close it now you have this chart but as you can see here, the name, the title of the y-axis, uh, you should change it. Uh, click on this one, this option, use text, and enter the title you want. Gallery. You can also change the font. And the size. You know all these modifications. So this is one way to have <coughs> multiple uh, sets of data in one chart. What is the next way? What is the other option? Uh, in the second way, you can create the PLT, the text file, the PLT file, and uh, you know, add both uh, or uh, any data that you want, not uh, two sets of data. Uh, okay, this is the data for the second case. So let me copy this and paste it paste it here so this should be uh, the variables are the same x and temperature but the zone name uh, should be different case one and now I can copy the data here so this is the first case this is the second one and you can add multiple data zones uh, to this file. Now um, let me save the file and here. Uh, you can save it in text format and then change it to PLT, but I think you can find PLT here. Mm. Uh, okay, we can leave it for now. Mm, yes. Okay. So, uh, we save text file and then we convert it manually. So, um, multi well, charts second. I save it and uh, if you see we have this here 
And now I can rename it and change the format. And uh, now I can open it in TechBlot. Okay, this is TechBlot. I can add uh, the data by drag and drop. And this is our data. If you click on multi uh, mapping style you can see both maps uh, in this uh, you know method you don't need to create any map everything is there and uh, you know as you know you know first thing first we should decrease the size of the frame maybe for for width and height and then we can start modifying the chart. So if I want to modify the chart quickly, and it's a good review for you. First, uh, go to line, tab, and close the chart. Then I should change the range uh, for X and Y axis. Mm, 0 to 10, I think it's good. And for y, 0 to 12,000 or for 13,000, 14,000. And uh, I think I can increase the size and move the chart. So I can increase the offset of the y-axis title. And it's good. And I can change and modify all the fonts. As you can see, it's not difficult. And you can do it quickly. So this is uh, what I wanted to show you in this uh, video. As you can see here, we can have uh, lines with different colors instead of a uh, single color. And maybe uh, some people like this format uh, more than the other one. Uh, in the next tutorials, I show you how you can use frame style option and how you can have, uh, you can create multiple y axis charts. I know uh, many of you uh, need to create some of those charts, and using frame style, uh, you can uh, modify your charts really quickly. You can uh, modify one chart and then apply the modifications automatically to another okay uh, i think it's enough for this video thank you for watching the video uh, i hope you enjoy these uh, tutorials if so please subscribe to the channel and uh, introduce us to your friends share these videos and like them and if you have any comments please write your comment in the comment section below thanks for watching Take care of yourselves and bye-bye.